Good morning and thank you for being here with us and thank you for attending this speech. My name is Gabriele Ponzo and uh, um, I'm from Libre Italia, which is the organization I'm going to talk about. Well, um, my friend and colleague Andrea Costellani, he had a problem on the last minute so he couldn't come back, come here and so uh, But I have to say a big thank you to him because he prepared the whole material I'm going to speak, uh, to speak on. And, um, and also, that's why um, um, I think I will go reading some, something, or almost everything, <laughs> because he's been preparing them uh, for, me, for, you, for me. Well, um, this is Andrea Castellani, my colleague. As I told you, he's an um, IT advisor, a specialist, specialized in uh, free software, working in Regione Umbria at the moment. Um, he's been also in the open source Competence Center, which is a um, you know um, um, a committee. Yeah, it's uh, a competence center. Yeah, it's a com competence center uh, to decide how to uh, because we have a we have had um, a regional law one on the first maybe the first in uh, in our country it was the first regional law mandating ODF in Italy. Yes, and so um, uh, subsequently to this law, they established this competence center. His He's been part of Libre Umbria project, just like me, and uh, he's a founder and a councillor in the board of directors of Libre Italia, just like me. And uh, at the moment, he's a consultant for technical and methodology implementation in Stato Maggiore della Difesa, the defense, Italian defense, as you may have uh, heard about our, their migration, migration, and um, he's working at the moment to the document management systems to how to integrate LibreOffice, especially in the headless, you know, I don't know if you know what is headless. Uh, you install a LibreOffice on a server and you call it from common line, so via scripts and so on, and that's the way he's, you, he's going to integrate with, um, with such document management system. Uh, that's me. Um, I'm a self-entrepreneur in Italy, and um, this is the name of my enterprise. <laughs> I'm founder and secretary of GNU Linux user group in my town, which is Terni. And um, as I told you, I'm a founder of Libre Italia. Uh, and um, I am in the membership committee of the Document Foundation. And last, I've been certified trainer and migration expert in, uh, in Libre Office, obviously. Are you there? What? <laughs> yes, many years ago. Anyway. Um, Libre Italia was founded in August 2014, but uh, we already had um, a huge community on Google+, Plus, which was uh, at that time uh, about 1,600, uh, 1, no, at that time was, oh, okay. one, uh, was already 1,600 uh, 1, um, members on Google+, Plus. so we decided to found, to constitute the association. And now we have more than 270 members in Italy, obviously. No, mainly Italian, but not uh, strictly in Italy, because we have also members from other countries, which are Italian maybe, um, almost obviously, and, but they live outside our country. So, and the community now has reached uh, more than uh, 2,600 um, members. Okay. Um, the goal of association, as you may imagine, is to spread LibreOffice, but not only that, we also want to spread uh, free Libre open source software, generally speaking, and the icon of Thunderbird is not casual, as you may know or may not know. <laughs> um, um, and also, um, we want to, uh, to spread the, the culture and um, the concepts of uh, open data, open data formats, and open knowledge. And that's why the association exists and works. Well, we are the only Italian association being member of Open Source Initiative, which is behind, you know, Linux and all the most common, most known uh, um, open source projects. And we have been selected as a part of the National Coalition Digital Skills for Digital Skills in AGID. AGID is the Italian. Uh, uh, agency for you know digital skills, and they have selected as our, our association uh, to be member of a. Okay. 
Well, <laughs> let's see what, <laughs> what we have been doing in the last... And Drinking. <laughs> yeah. 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 And, and, and the tea. <laughs> <laughs> this picture was taken in Bologna in uh, November 2014 when we had the first uh, countrywide meeting. And uh, yes, this is what you know, uh, we were drinking some... Fumante, I mean. We were celebrating, yes, yep. with some champagne. Mm. Well, what so? What did we do uh, within last year? Uh, we have been supporting schools, primary and I, and choosing free software, e either for uh, administration administration purposes and for didactics, meaning that you know they have different um, uh, requirements, and so we had uh, suggesting them how to improve, uh, not sorry, uh, to implement. Libre office um, for their needs. Uh, this was done through workshops and free trainings, just because we are an association of volunteers, and so um, our work, all, all you can see here is mm, made by volunteers, so not paid. Um, we, so we have been also teaching to teachers and parents. Uh, but this is not that slide. Um, Anyway, about the, uh, the open software, uh, not only LibreOffice, and we have a project co called Grow Up with Bread and Free Software that was included in the agent, as mentioned before. Uh, you know, uh, the project, because um, we have, I used to say in Italy, you're growing up in with uh, bread and Nutella, for example. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the game of word is this. Is this. So, uh, grow up with bread and free software. Meaning that for us it's important to have uh, the free software concept and, and culture be spread from the very early stage of children because they have to know that there is a choice and they have to grow up with this, with this knowledge, with this aware awareness. Okay? Well, we've been publishing, in, in particular our president, Sonia Montegiove, she has been publishing uh, this ebook, and another one is in uh, Cantier, which is 10 uh, people looking for LibreOffice. Just because we have an Italian classic uh, in literature, which is called 10 people looking for author, you know, 10, ten characters looking for an, for an author. This is a classic book, so this is, you know, another game of words. Um, this book is really, really pragmatic, meaning that it, it uh, approaches the, the, the use of LibreOffice in a very pragmatic way, meaning that these are, we have those 10 characters, uh, they just have a need, each one. So, for example, the first has a need to uh, write a letter to the public administration. So, uh, you have this story, which, um, by, the means, by, the may, by the way, um, teach you how to open LibreOffice, open a, you know, the writer and create a document, your styles and so on to, um, to reach the goal of writing a letter to the public administration, for example. But you have 10 characters with 10 different needs and uh, all, the, all the, um, the roadmap, all the, all the steps you have to do to reach that goal. Well, uh, we also have been producing slides, materials, guides and tutorials and so on and we release them under Creative Commons license, uh, obviously. Um, this to be, uh, to be reused by you know, schools and whoever needs it for do training and so on. Come on. Um, another thing, uh, we used to attend so many events, so uh, one of them was Document Freedom Day. So we organized um, contemporary event in Perugia and Mozzecane, which are far from each other. And we had a um, you know, um, syndication via Google Hangout. And uh, this, oh, sorry, this is uh, Perugia campus uh, classroom. And this is uh, Mozzecane, I think, anyhow, um, is it the, uh, the town hall? This is inside the town hall, not a campus, yeah. not a university. Why? This was a new Anyway. Uh, municipal town. Municipal town, yeah. okay. Um, 
Um, so, uh, uh, as I've been saying, we attend so many uh, events to let everybody know about us and about what we do, just like I'm doing now. And uh, one of those was um, Forum PA, which is a forum, uh, nationwide, countrywide, uh, annual forum for all public administration to, to meet each other and, you know, and discuss uh, about solutions and so on. And so on, and uh, the inter oh, this is a mistake. International festival, no, sorry, internet festival, which is another thing, uh, and also the international journal fest journalism festival, which is held uh, in Perugia. By the way, our uh, headquarter is in Perugia. This this is why this is because you know, um, Libre Italia is the natural consequence of Libre Umbria project and Perugia is in Umbria. So most of us are from Umbria, me too. Not everybody obviously, and so, uh, but at least the, the, the founders, most of them are from Umbria. And anyway, we have the headquarters in Perugia, but you know, it's just formally because we, uh, we don't have an office, you know, uh, we just meet whenever we need and so for example we are going to meet next weekend and also we'll uh, we'll go having uh the uh, the national uh sorry the annual uh conference in uh, interni which is my town this is my turn <laughs> and then we have been supporting uh acdl which is european computer driving license but uh, based on free software in the, in the specific in LibreOffice and Linux because uh, for those who don't know what is ECDL is a uh, European um, certificate uh, that just states you are able to use you know basic functions of computer so you know how to power on to how to handle files to create folders and so on and how to use the, the basic functions of uh, office automation suit, but usually it's been held with Windows and Microsoft Office for decades, you know, while now we are going to, no, they already used to uh, have ECDL certification in, with open source within uh, last, um, let's say, three, four, five years, but they used to do that with open office, so we're going to uh, to try and to um, to let them use LibreOffice, obviously. So, um, and to do that, we need to prepare materials, exam, exam preparation exercises, and quiz, and so on, and online simulation, which is the hardest part because you know you have to simulate the world LibreOffice on a platform which is not really LibreOffice. They used to do it with Flash, for example, you know, and uh, and, and action scripts and so on. And, uh, but th it requires a lot of work, so we're uh, not up to date for this, but we're trying to, we strive to, the, to it. Well, um, as you may have understood, we have been organizing lectures for many events and also for student parents. It's important to, to talk and to speak to uh, parents of students because um, they must be part of this change, you know. Uh, even if the students are the most important, because they usually own the computers at home, you know. If you have a child, you may understand me. Um, because yes, the computer, the computer is the family one, but they used to own. <laughs> well, um, and you, we used to talk about the uh, the important uh, the importance of freedom and you know free software and so on. Well, this is another picture from uh, two pictures. That's me. Oh, yes. Oh, it's you. <laughs> yeah, I was. Sure? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I lost some fat <laughs> in the middle. <meanwhile. laughs> no. And this was a um, Bologna conference in 2014. And this is um, the group photo we have doing. This is me pressing the, the remote command of the m camera because my, the other photo was taken by my camera. Anyway, it's it is funny, you can't see it here, but I, I'm putting my hand almost in front of face of another <laughs> member. Anyway, let's go on. Um, well, uh, we used to meet uh, public administrations, 
And this is really important because we have a law in Italy that um, requests, uh, requires uh, public administration to adopt free software instead of um, proprietary one, if possible. But if not, you have to demonstrate it. So you have to prepare a document stating you can't use free software and why you can't. So, it's a, but anyway, uh, there are not so many public administration in Italy adopting free software, so we have to meet them with the, such events called Roadshow. Uh, we just have, you know, conferences and, and speak just like I'm doing now. And also uh, we show the program, we show the possibility, the opportunities, and, the, and we talk about freedom. And most of all, we talk about the open format, which is, you know, as you may know, uh, the UK government has adopted in uh, 2014, August, if I'm not wrong, the uh, OBF as mandatory uh, open f uh, format, uh, the, the document format for, for their country. So uh, just like they did, we would like to do the same in Italy, and we are pushing about this. And, um, well, promotion, uh, promoting meetings in schools, but only about conscious of e use of internet targeted to parents and teachers. This was also important. It was not on LibreOffice, but just on the use of internet, because many um, children and many guys and students, they, they think, they believe to know how, how to use the internet, but mm, they are not aware of all the, risky, the risks there are. For example, when you are, you are a child or you are, you, are, you are young and you, let's say, publish a video, which is not that cool, and uh, on the internet, on YouTube, for example, maybe two, three, four years later, you're having a, uh, an interview for a job, and maybe that video comes out, and you may lost an occasion, an opportunity to have that job just because you're hiring uh, the people who selecting you may discover that video later, and it's it happened. So, well, so it's it's good to them to uh, to be aware. And you know also about chat and Facebook and social networks and so on. They have to know the risks connected and behind the, this technology. Well, uh, finally, if I'm not wrong, um, we act just like an, a watchdog, meaning that we used to read all the press news, newspaper, the press news uh, about LibreOffice migration and so on, and uh, the. Pesaro, just try looking for non solo Pesaro hashtag in Twitter. Yes, maybe most of the, um, the posts are in Italian, but there are many also in, uh, in English. Uh, this was a, a case of counter migration. Uh, it, it was really a case, and we made so much loud uh, noise, you know, uh, within our country that it has been going outside our country. So you may find as well uh, press releases and you know, uh, articles and blog posts about this case. Just because as you may see here, for example, just to be short, this is the um, independent um, report on which they based their consideration to go back to Microsoft Office 365. And as you may see, this is so independent, you have here the logo of Municipality of Pesaro, Netix, which is the, the company who has been doing the report, the report, but you may see here those two logos. So this is how independent was. But anyway, um, so um, we are arising and a lot of noise about that because, you know. Well, what are you going to, <laughs> going to do in the future? I'll be short. Um, Let's say that you know our associated members are growing week by week, and uh, we got requests you know almost daily. And let's say also that, um, for example, the migration of defense, we may you may be heard, you may he have heard, uh, they have contacted us because they have been reading all our noise and all our posts and news and so on. So they called us to Did say, well, they found us, <laughs> as you know, and they asked us 
well, we would like to migrate. We were not calling them. So, and they were saying, we are the fans. We know all about you. <laughs> it was really funny. Well, um, autonomous provinces of Bolzano and Trento are migrating according to TDF official migration protocol, more or less. And uh, defense, we already talked about that. You know, the defense is meant as army, marine, and aviation. And to be honest, there should be also carabinieri, which is, you know, uh, guards, you know, just like police. We have so many cops, military cops in Italy, we like that so much. We have polizia, we have carabinieri, we have guardia di finanza, we have uh, forestale, we you have. Also see. My, you know, so many guardians. Well, anyway. And. Um, we're going to uh, have workshops to teach people how to contribute in translation and development. Because we urgently and we really strongly need more people translating to Italy. Because we are not up to date with, uh, with guides, for example, user guides. We, you know, we have um, just finished translating the guide of LibreOffice 3.5, if I'm not wrong. And, uh, and so, you may imagine, we are at five. Well, and also to develop, because we need developers to, to be able to, uh, to spread LibreOffice and say we have an Italian developer who may understand quickly us and our needs, an Italian needs and requirements. Well, um, we are going to, uh, to, to have a, sub a subscription, an agreement, with, um, between Muir and us. Muir is the um, school uh, ministry, school research university ministry. Um, just about liberal office and free software in Italian schools, just like us uh, used to say, is important to, to start from scratch before they get used to Windows and Word and so on, because otherwise it will be difficult to let them switch. You know. So um, we are trying to uh, organize we will organize uh, an important event uh, on open formats, not only LibreOffice, but open formats, you know, to, to let people um, be aware of the importance on an independent standard, independent format for documents. A creation for, um, of a guide for teachers to educate deaf people in collaboration with the National School for Deaf. Uh, this is a request we have been uh, uh, receiving recently, and so we we will strive to produce such a... It, it is a, a good challenge because, you know, uh, who knows about this sector? It's not that common, you know? And um, to me, it's really interesting and important to have uh, such a, a documentation, such a material for them. And we are going also to participate in, on a TEDx in November 5th in Assisi. Sonia, obviously. <laughs> In Cesena in order, April 4th. Well, I heard that they have to invite. I'm the curator, by the way. That's why I know. Yeah, wow, good, good. I didn't know about that. No, it's I'm so yesterday. happy. Oh, it's really <laughs> fresh news. <laughs> well, the fresh news. perfect. Uh, we're trying to organize uh, short trainings on for oncologic children in hospitals. You know, people having uh, this oncology problem, you know, heart. And um, the child, children, in in the, in the hospital of such structures, uh, in collaboration with Chianelli Association, which is an endless, um, no profit organization uh, taking care of them. Um, production of online trainings, MOOC, on LibreOffice, and share them on Didasca and OIP project platforms, which are online platforms to uh, to have you know um, online training and CBT, computer based training. Well, um, collaboration with EPAS, which is another, um, please. What is the uh, didactic, what is it? A collaboration with EPAS, second, second last. Yes, online training uh, objects, you know. Uh, I'm oh, sorry. Second last. Second last, okay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I was, I was saying. Um, the EPAS is another um, organization to uh, certificate, to give diploma um, about using, just like ECDL, you know. It's another one, because we used to have just ECDL as a certification, but who, who says it has to be just one? So they have been asking the European community to, to be uh, 
to become a certification um, authority and they have become so now they are able to uh, give such EE pass you know European um, I can't remember the E so what stands for anyway what is that didactic means oh sorry didactic is um, now I understand your <laughs> question sorry um, uh, training you know educational educational you're right uh -oh. thank you uh -oh. <laughs> uh, maybe I've, I've translated not that well not that good <laughs> um, it's trans uh, so educate educating materials and quiz uh, for their certification uh, for certification exam just like they used to do in uh, ECDL and uh, well as I told you we are going to organize the annual conference in Terni in November and this is a uh, most the best good news we have about you know we have we have been saying so many times those days because we are so proud about it um, this is the difference migrating so they have they would be migrating uh, one mile, 150,000 PCs many PCs yeah. so many you know, uh, spread within the three corps, you know, uh, Marine, Aviation and, and Army. And uh, as Italo said, they, are, they have been asking us, but it was really a fresh news about yesterday, they um, also, they have been asking us to certify also people working inside as certified trainers and migration experts. And uh, what we do for them is, uh, well, uh, support in pre-analysis, training of the trainers and I'm involved in that I have to go there I can't remember on 22nd of October if I'm not wrong I go there and the funny thing is if I just a uh, few seconds I've been uh, you know a military as well because it was mandatory when I was young so and I was been driving buses because they have their own bus lines in the, in Rome uh, to bring all those cops you know here and there and um, they told us, you may come here by our buses. I will, definitely, because I, I've been driving them so for one year. I, I look forward to, to be host, to be a guest, sorry, to be a guest on that buses today. Just to joke. Anyway, um, support them, because they, uh, they told us they want to produce, they want to prepare uh, learning objects to online train for online trainings. And so we will support them as well. Communication, and you know, Italo is a good man for that. But also Sonia, she used to tweet, is that door? That, that door, I don't know why. Maybe because it's late and I have to go. <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. We don't lock this night. <laughs> no? no, there is that huge port over there. Huge door, sorry. Um, uh, <laughs> at least I hope so. Um, by the way, we could have a party. <laughs> <laughs> so our communication uh, I was saying that Sonia is really strong with Twitter and social media and as you may know <coughs> and um, basic technical support obviously but for level 3 support we are talking with uh, companies which sell support you know they make they make uh, they make all their own business on support and, and on customization of LibreOffice mm -hmm. anyway uh, last but not least, this is what Andrea Castellani, my colleague, is, uh, is, is doing now. As I told you, is the integration with the content management systems and those standards and uh, the automation of workflow with Atlas mode, as I told you, having uh, LibreOffice installed in, in, a, in a server. What we are going to try to do is um, have a web application where you fill, uh, where you fill in uh, many fields with uh, with what you want to uh, appear on your document on your final document, and then from that web application, uh, we um, collect this information and send it to LibreOffice headless via via a script, and then you get back the PDF finished, complete. So you just have your document, official document, ready. Without mm, without having to edit the document within Writer, which is a facility because the grants, uh, you know, uh, uniform aspect, you know, of the documents and 
prevents uh, not so well knowledge people to uh, try editing something they are not able to do. Well, conclusions. We are satisfied since we will never have guessed to have so many members and contacts. Really, especially after the news of, of, uh, of, the, of, the, of the, the fans, we've been contacted and, and called so from so many friends and old friends as well. Anyway, we've been able to make so many things we'd have never imagined. And all this stuff wouldn't have been possible without a right and strong communication. I have to admit, because I'm a technician. I'm not a coder, but I'm a technician. You know, uh, I'm used to give support, technical support. But to be, and you know, there is the old uh, well-known uh, rivality um, between, you know, marketeers and technicians, you know. But uh, we have to, to stand that, you know, it's impossible to technician to work if marketeers doesn't sell our work. So this is important. And last but not least, yes, it's time to do it better. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. I have a question. Uh, what are you doing? About this? Because As they we are, are Italians. Italians. As oh. we are Italian, it's not said that we will answer your question. <laughs> oh, man. She's a friend. She's an old friend. No. No. Oh. <laughs> No, uh, I would like to very, know. Very, very less difference. Indians do it better also. We can do this <laughs> next year, this time. You know, it starts by I, I as well. Yes, and yes, everything is similar. So yeah. I think to, by that analogy, we can produce something similar to you. So next, maybe, next, maybe. next maybe. conference, maybe. same slides, last. <laughs> just, just change the last word, you know. Okay, so I got uh, a quick uh, questions on this. Uh, I heard Italo talking about, you know, the news which came to you, uh, asking uh, for, you know, migration of one like fifty thousand desktops. Yep. So, uh, what what was the big reason, or what was that point which they thought uh, is important for this migration, and which was communicated to you? You know. Uh, what was that that said? Okay, this is why we're coming to you and asking for migration. Any? Maybe there is a law. So yeah. in Italy, we have a law that is mandating uh, public administration to use uh, uh, open source software. As I mentioned. Uh, of course, the, the problem of this law is that it's, uh, how we get, it's, uh, it's not mandatory, uh, but it's just a kind of a strong suge suggestion. So it's basically ignored by many. Mm -hmm. But of course, as they are the defense, and uh, they are supposed to be the one that respect the law first, because they are paid to make the other respect the law. It was a nonsense for them uh, to be not to be compliant with the law. Okay. So of course, they. What is interesting, I think, uh, is that they made all the, the the first level of intelligence by themselves. So they they took all the available product, they made their test, and then they decided for LibreOffice. And then they called us. They called the association, which is, I think, is important to have the association that gets to the point to be recognized as the referral, represent, re referral for the for the software. Because otherwise, if you miss the association, who are you calling? No, you may call. You can call the foundation. Okay. Oh, my, and you then may also call an entrepreneur as well. Yeah. But you know, uh, we are the referral for community. So, uh, is, since it's based on community, Libre Italia, as you may know. So, uh, Libre Italia, is it a different entity than TDF, or how is it? Or is it's it a, a different entity. It's an Italian not-for-profit association. Yes, it is. The, the statutes are based, uh, or let's say, are inspired by TDF uh, uh, statutes, but are different because, uh, of course, uh, our statutes are compliant with Italian law. For instance, in Italy, an association members of an association have to pay a, an yearly fee. Yeah. This is the law that says that. Because uh, the, the yearly fee that members pay, even if they are volunteers, is supposed to be the capital that the association is using for basic expenses. For instance, we are asked to be insured. We are all insured when we represent the Libritalia. Okay. And of course, to pay the insurance, you need money. So if no one puts money in, uh, then you don't pay insurance. So as we cannot have one, to, to, to guarantee the independence, 
So not to have a company that pays for these expenses. The law says that to be independent, the association has to ask a, it's a, they, they call a, a kind of, uh, we use a word that I don't know how to translate. It's like to say it's a symbolic amount of money. So for, yes. for us it's 10 euro per year. 10 euro is uh, less than one euro per month. So it's uh, everyone can afford that. Yeah. Students is five euro per year. Then you have uh, supporters, which is 50 euro. But then you have to decide to be a supporter. So 10 euro per year is OK. We can pay the basic expenses. So we are independent. We don't have to go to anyone to cover our basic expenses, which means insurance and uh, publish our ledgers, which are, of course, uh, uh, an, a necessity for the law. So, uh, and we have to pay someone that puts together our ledgers. We, 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 we get them for a very reasonable amount of money. But of course, it's an expense that we have to cover. So to avoid that, there is a single individual or a single company that covers that. The law says everyone contributes with a symbolic amount of money. And this is different because TDF membership is for free. Yeah, yeah. But this is the law. I mean, we cannot have the same go against the, have the same because the law would not allow us to create a not-for-profit independent association. Without would a, ask us uh, to have a, a basic capital deposited by someone. And this is what we didn't want to have because it's, uh, you know, maybe I would say Red Hat Italy could easily give us 1,000 euro. But then, uh, you know, the association would be paid by Red Hat. Yes. And uh, even if we love Red Hat, we don't want to be recognized as representing anyone. Right. But us. <laughs> You're welcome, nice please. Yeah, you were uh, mentioned in the last part to uh, slide Atlas uh, yep. server, yes. server, where you give uh, input some information either in some format so that will run by some script and generate PDF files. So what kind of input we need to use? Is a plain text, ASCII test, or it should be any audio files? Well, uh, I'm not a specialist on these. My colleague is. And I may get, in, get you in contact with them, but from what I know, you just, uh, you just install it on a, on a machine, you know, on a system, and you may, because LibreOffice has many parameters you can pass by command line, and with those such parameters, you may do so many things. For example, one very common, and I'm able to do that as well, is to uh, is convert mass massive conversion of files. So, for example, you have a folder with you know, let's say uh, uh, doc, no, dot doc, doc files, you can make easily a script which uh, opens one by one each, uh, each file and, and convert it in PDF or ODT or both. So, because you have so many parameters, you can pass through the command line. But uh, I'm not a specialist in this. Andrea, it, him, he is in, in charge for that. And if you wish, drop me uh, an email and um, I get in touch with him because he's now really f uh, focusing on that. So he may be able to, to know um, almost everything about that. Or otherwise, I think here around, uh, there may be people really better than us to, 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 to answer. Maybe Kaolan, for example. Please. I didn't get the actual I mean, idea of what it is exactly, the system. Because I didn't get the so that's why I'm asking. Now I got I mean, like for merging documents in PDF format, some kind of thing. Yep. We can done on the centralized server. It, it, it is a service based. Uh, it is though. So sorry. It there is. will be a headless system. There will be a centralized server. It's a, it's a server instance. Yeah. It's yeah. a server instance that you yeah, control. You can try it also in your own command line. You can try also in your desktop. If you open a terminal, and you call uh, LibreOffice. Uh, if we if it is Windows, it should be slash question mark, and it gives back you many parameters. If I'm not wrong, many parameters are at, at least uh, the most uh, you know used uh, and the most common ones. And you may try also. You know, it's, it's really simple. What it does is just not show the front end, meaning that LibreOffice is coming up, it's opening, but without showing anything. So uh, you can try as well in your desktop. Obviously. We used to do this on servers, and there it does not. It, it doesn't have to appear any 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 user interface because you know it's a server, it's blind, it's over there. 
but you can try also in your desktop because mm, it's not that difficult. I, I've been using that to convert. So just open a terminal and try. Any yeah, other the question? usage is, to, is especially to convert files uh, yes, to batch I told them. jobs. Uh, I told them. Yeah, yeah. Can you ask questions? Please. Uh -huh. Can I ask questions, okay? Please, please. Uh, let's talk about, um, can you talk about money? Uh, how do you seek your finance uh, yeah. to support your IGB? <coughs> Uh, talking about the association, well, uh, consider that, um, as I told, as I said, most activity is made by volunteers and for free. Uh, within this first year, we have been not paying back, uh, for example, expenses. So we have been not only volunteers, but we have been paying by ourselves also transportation, for example. Let's say we have uh, an 17 million. And we had. <laughs> I've been paying by myself. Now we had, you know, uh, this the second year has, um, has begun. So we have um, um, treasure, uh, 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 I mean, a cash, a cash flow. So uh, we could uh, start, we could begin uh, paying back the, the bills yeah. at least. But the, the, the just that, because volunteer, I ju I just. Um, TDF via SPI does here, you know. Uh, and so we are volunteer work is for free, but the bills to come here, for example, and so on, or we are going to pay back. Yeah. And for the for the upcoming conference, we will ask a grant uh, to the Document Foundation to cover the organization and the expenses. For example, what did you do when the, a company wants uh, to hire? Uh, Libertalia or the volunteers to do a migration a training it's or separated. something like that. It's, it's totally separated. They totally cannot separated. hire us. Huh, uh, okay. We have agreed that we do this way. We do the first meeting for free. Great. We explain how the ecosystem works. Yeah. And we tell them uh, people that can provide you services are these people. You have to pay them. And uh, uh, so you. Then, then it's a, it's, it's a separate it's entity. Does Libre Italia gets out of the picture? No, okay. So you indicate no, because definitely. you are promoting. We indicate the the, the certified people. No, okay. Yes, we, we used to to uh, have such meetings and to promote and to explain how does it work and so on. After that, we uh, point out which are the subjects entrepreneurs to to do that. Uh mostly with certified people. Yeah. What we do after is just uh, proceed with communication. Yeah. Because we, we, we are not out of the of the, um, yeah, the but migration. We only communicate. But we we only communicate. You have the website, Libertalia. Yes. yes. Not IT. And uh, do you have the names of certification people? Uh, no, it's prepared? on TDF site. It's on TDF. So TDF we, we, we point them to, TD, to the TDF mm. website. No, I mean, in Libertalia, you, you, you have uh, the, the, the certified people in Italy? No, 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 no. We don't at the moment. We, we, we don't. Uh, because you we, said we, we may we may do that. Yeah, because it may be a good idea. You indicate a, a certification people. Yeah, you're at, at the Italy. moment. At the moment, what we, we do is just point out to the point them to the uh, TDF website, and they are separated by country, so it's not that difficult to to find Italian certified no. people. But Libre yes. Italia is for Italia. I, I yes, yes, you're right. So we may we I, may I, think I, about I, that. I, yeah, I think it's interesting because I think it's good for the, the Libre Italia and the, the yes. The yeah, I mean, who in, in, we don't want to 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 have people think that we are separated from TDF. So we want people understand that we are the Italian, let's call it, branch of TDF. Uh, so s we, we represent TDF in a sense. Yeah. In, in Italy, we don't want to be uh, perceived as a separate, completely separate entity, although we do separate stuff. Because for instance, when we uh, work in the schools, uh, in some cases, we not only promote LibreOffice, but also Firefox and yeah, other software. Open source. Open source in general, okay. which is not just LibreOffice. Uh, but uh, so we, we uh, of course, uh, we, we are improving also because, as you can understand, uh, if a small company calls you, it's one question. If a 100,000, 50,000 <laughs> beast calls you, it's another one. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a first experience. Let's see how it uh, evolves. Okay, great. Yeah. So, 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you.